Southern California slammed with a tropical storm, the first to move across the region since 1997, bringing mudslides and dangerous flash flooding. And Lindsay, the images are quite staggering. Take a look at this with heavy rainfall in San Diego saturating the ground. Trees like this have been uprooted and have collapsed. One of just several weather emergencies across the country. Our team is tracking it all. We begin with Rob Marciano in Palm Desert, California. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, George. Yeah, quite a scene here yesterday as Tropical Storm Hillary cut its way across Southern California right into the deserts here. We had a lot of rain with that record breaking in Palm Springs and Palm Dale in San Diego. We also have big time winds here. We had about a four hour stretch of 40 plus mile an hour winds. That was certainly enough to take down this really big eucalyptus tree, which was no match for this historic storm. Overnight, millions of Americans under alert as Hillary slams the west. With up to 84 mile per hour wind gusts, Hillary officially the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in more than 25 years. Bringing with it catastrophic rainfall, historic flooding, and dangerous mudslides. Palm Springs receiving more than half of its annual rainfall from this tropical storm alone. The center of Hillary now coming through the center of Palm Springs. A tropical storm going through the middle of a California desert. His car is floating. Across the region, cars submerged. Watch this golf course inundated. That's a river. It's not a golf course. Emergency crews launching rescue missions. And in San Bernardino County, dramatic video of a massive mud flow. We have five to 700 people, approximately uh, residents that are having to shelter in the place. Firefighters trapped at their fire station after a mudslide surrounded the building. No injuries were reported, but the mudslides appear to be cutting off some mountain communities in the region. And in Los Angeles, the Sheriff's Department helicopter sounding the alarm, warning people to move to higher ground ahead of the storm. And in the middle of the storm, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake striking the L.A. area. Chief, I'm really sorry to interrupt you right now. Uh, our our studio is shaking right now, so not only are we dealing with a tropical storm, but it appears we are now dealing with an earthquake. The Los Angeles Unified School District, the second largest in the country, closing today. Yeah, and an earthquake. Can you believe that? One not related to the other. Just tell, gives you an idea how crazy uh, yesterday was. Uh, there is a link to climate change as far as the extreme rainfall that we've Get in these sort of events, and we can expect that to increase going forward. The rainfall, yeah, we did get that. Let's take a look at some of these numbers. Over 10 inches of rain falling across parts of San Bernardino County, LA County getting a half a foot. We mentioned Palm Springs and San Diego. The bulk of the moisture now is moving up into the Sierras. This is no longer a tropical anything, really. It's just a mass of moisture. We still have flash flood warnings uh, into parts of the Sierras and watches all the way up into the northwest, not quite up into the fire area of Washington, unfortunately for those folks who are struggling there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.